Oh no. Am I really late? I wasn't expecting our hunt to go so deep into the forest. My love must be worried. But it was worth it. The prey we caught today will keep us fed through most of the winter. Ah, there's the village. I'm almost there. Yeah, fuck. Just as I suspected. Our house is the only one with the light still on. Everyone else has gone to sleep. <coughs> Darling, I'm home. <coughs> hey, where are you? Maybe in the kitchen? No, not here. But there are two dinner plates. Mine is there, but it doesn't seem like they ate any of their dinner. Mm, living room, maybe? No, also not. Hey, are you upstairs? Mm, maybe in our bedroom? Ugh, there you are. Darling, I'm back. It's a little cold outside. Why are you sitting there on the balcony without a jacket or a blanket? You're not cold? Nonsense. I'm going to wrap this blanket around you, okay? I can't have you getting a cold, especially with the winter fast approaching. Is everything alright? You look a little upset. Darling, I'm sorry I was out for so long. You must have been worried about me. You were? I knew it. We've known each other for a while now. I can tell when you're feeling happy and when something's bothering you. Did something happen? No, not at all. All the elves that went hunting came back safe and sound. With winter around the corner, our usual prey has been preparing for the winter too. They've been extending deeper into the woods and gone into hiding, which has forced us to follow them as well. Once the snow falls, it's almost impossible to hunt anything anymore. That's why the village chief has ordered everyone, from the weakest to the strongest, to participate in the hunts, so that we may have enough food to last the winter. Especially with so many new people in our village after the games, it's been a bit difficult to gather enough food for everyone. But I promise you that won't happen again, no matter what. I'll be back before nightfall. You have my word. I promise I won't be late again. I don't want to see you upset like this. You're not upset about that. Then tell me, what's on your mind? So, when I wasn't back on time, you started to worry that I wouldn't come back? You started to think that maybe I had changed my mind about you? That I ran away? Darling, please stop. You don't ever have to worry about that, okay? Good. Do you mind if I lay next to you? Do you remember what happened after the games? We didn't go and say our vows immediately. Even though we continue the games out of tradition, we don't want to force our mates to a life they don't want. Which is why we give both the elf and the human they capture an opportunity to object. After a couple of months of getting to know each other, if one person in the relationship decides they don't want to commit to the other, they can call it off without any consequences. That's why we went out on all those dates together, remember? The days we went exploring the forest, the nights we spent together at the tavern. Remember when you wanted to show off how tough you were, trying to drink a shot of the forest gin? <laughs> you barely took one sip and you were already out cold. I had to carry you like a sack of potatoes back to your room at the inn. Don't be so embarrassed. I thought it was adorable that you tried, even after we all warned you not to do it. But do you know what I learned? That the more I got to know you, the more my feelings for you grew, 
and I can tell you were feeling the same way about me. Don't get me wrong, and now that I can be a bit um, intense at times, but I tried my best to control it, because I didn't want you to only think of me as some crazy elf. I wanted you to get to know me as well, so that you could feel the same way too. <sighs> I didn't want to ever tell you this, but can I confess something? On the day of our vows, I was a nervous wreck. Yes, it's true. I did my best to hide it. And on the outside, I may have looked calm, but the whole day I was nervous. A lot of thoughts were going through my mind. What if they decide I'm not their type? What if I scare them off? What if they don't love me enough? Or worse, what if they hate me? Every single possibility ran through my mind until the moment you showed. And when I saw your face, all those negative emotions just vanished. I saw your beautiful face and that warm, gentle smile. And I knew that you were ready to spend your life with me. And when you said I do, I was relieved and happy. Darling, those feelings haven't changed. I love you just as much. No, I love you even more than when we first met. So please, don't ever think like that. Don't ever think that I would ever leave you, okay? Please, darling, let me hold you close to me tonight. Look at the sky. Do you see all those stars? My ancestors used to say that every time a couple stays together to the very end, that a new star would shine in the sky. And the stronger the love, the brighter the star would be. I know it may be a bit childish, but I hope that one day we get our own star in the sky. And I hope it's the brightest out of them all, so that everyone can just see how much we love each other, no matter where they are. But before that day comes, I want to make sure you have the best life, a life full of happiness. So please, let me be the one to bring you that happiness. If you're ever feeling down, let me be the one to lift you up. If you're ever feeling lost and cold, let me be the warm light that brings you home. I promise to do all this and more, as long as you allow me to. I want to make sure you don't ever forget that you have me. So if you don't mind, let's stay like this a little longer. Cuddled up together under the warm blankets, enjoying the view of a million stars. I will keep you safe, I promise. Whether it's the cruel weather or an evil monster, I will protect you from it all. And as long as you have me, I promise to spoil you and give you anything you want. And as long as I have you, that's all I really need to be happy. Never forget that, darling. I'll always be here for you. You have my word. <laughs>